Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City is the newest reboot to the franchise based on the classic video game. We're going to talk about how it was in a spoiler free review starting right now. Welcome to Fantasy Films. If you're new here, I'm Kevin. If you want to keep up on all kinds of movie news or reviews and everything in between, consider hitting that subscribe button for me. But today it's all about Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, the newest reboot to the franchise. And this one is supposed to be a lot more like the video game. All the previous franchise movies with Mila Jovovich has been a lot of Easter eggs and homages to the game but not really based on the game. Not the same storyline. There's been a lot of changes and some of the big fans didn't like that. So this movie is set to fix all of that. I mean, they as far as went to Capcom to get blueprints of Spencer's Mansion and Raccoon City Police Department so that they could copy it exactly. Now that's good and bad. I wanted to love this movie because I play the games. I've played almost all of them. I think there's a couple I missed, but this is based on one and two, very strongly on Resident Evil one and two. And if you've played the game, then this movie is extraordinarily predictable. And that's a bad thing because I wanted to be wowed. I wanted some jump scares. I wanted some shock and awe factor. I got nothing. I got none of it because it was so incredibly predictable. They took every scene, every move, every character, every scenario directly from the game. Now, that is a lot of fan service. And in that essence, it was pretty cool to see. It was basically a live reenaction of the video game. But because if you've played the game, you know everything that's going to happen. So it's completely predictable. You know how it's going to go. You know how it's going to end. You know all the moves in between. But if you haven't played the game and this is new to you, then you're probably going to find this fascinating. You're going to get jump scares. You're going to get the shock and awe factor. And this might actually appeal to you. It's not a fantastic movie. Again, I wanted to love this and because I do love the Resident Evil franchise, but I don't know. I just, again, I felt unsatisfied. There was a lot of lot of story to tell in a short amount of time. The movie was an hour and 35 minutes. And I feel like there was a whole bunch of crammed in. Like they just ran through the story and shoved in as much information as they could in that time frame. They could have easily ran this out another 15 minutes and got a much more complete story, filled in some more gaps. But the thing that got me was Leon Kennedy's character. All of the actors and actresses did a phenomenal job. I think they did a great job playing their roles. But Leon Kennedy, it bugged me. They made him out to be this drunk, derelict, spoiled, rotten kid who's a rookie cop who doesn't even know how to fire a gun. And that kind of bugged me. He was supposed to be one of the heroes of the show, but he's not. And to me, that kind of ruined a lot of things. Now, Claire Redfield and her brother, both, I love their characters so much more. You know, I think they did a phenomenal job. And all of these zombies, the creatures, were pulled right from the game, and I think they look great. But again... It seemed to be very underwhelming. Even movies that I've seen two, three, four times, if I like them a lot, I'm going to pay an extraordinarily large amount of attention to it and just really focus on the movie. And this one just didn't grasp that attention for me. The one thing I did like, though, was the focus on Raccoon City itself. It really did feel like Raccoon City was its own character. It was a main focus of the movie, as it was in the video game. And they did capture that part really well. And actually that did so well that I feel like the characters almost took a back seat. This, it's very strange when you watch the tone of the movie is a little odd because it does feel like you're watching the video game, which again, both good and bad. They did a great job recreating it, but that's basically what it is. It's a live recreation. So, I wanted to see some originality. 
I wanted to see more story. I wanted to be wowed, and it didn't wow me. It didn't shock me. It didn't scare me. I did nothing from it other than the credits rolling, and I went, that's it. That That's over. Okay. I guess I'll go now. And, uh, and that's not what I wanted from this movie. This movie was a 100% fan service. That's what this movie was. Fan service to the absolute extreme. But the question is, do you want a whole bunch of fan service? Or do you want to please the fans? There's a fine line there, and I feel like they missed the mark. Now, I know I've been complaining a lot about the movie, but there is good in it, too. The creatures are really well done. I love the looks of them. I love the transformations. I love Lisa Trevor's character, and I really wish they would have done more with her. She was a pretty big part of the storyline, and I feel like they gave you just enough of her, but then they rushed past her to get to something else. And this is where I think the movie could have been a little bit longer. They could have explored some more of the story. They threw her in there, I feel like, just enough, again, for that fan service, and then on to something else. And each scene, I, I, I don't want to say it felt rushed, but it did kind of feel rushed. But they did get some action sequences down really good. I got some nice blood action. I got some headshots. We got some awesome weapons. And we got a lot of... What makes Resident Evil Resident Evil, if that makes sense? But I will say it was entertaining. It wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't a good movie. It's, it fits somewhere on that in-between. If I had to rank it on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to say it's probably about a 5 for me. Maybe a 5.5. But I think they could have done so much better. They had the groundwork laid. They had that opportunity, but I just feel like they missed it. Now, if you have time to kill in your day and you want to watch something that's entertaining and just check it out, yeah, sure, go right ahead and check it out. It's worth watching, but I'm not going to tell you that you're going to walk away excited or satisfied. That part might be on you. Now, do me a favor and leave me comments down below. If you've seen it, what did you think? Don't leave any spoilers, though, in case anyone does want to watch it. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.